Hi, so what you're seeing here is my workstation, and from left to right I have a 2K monitor that's 27 inch, a LG 32 inch 4K monitor, and a 1080p laptop. And what I want to show you is the font size relative uh, to each of these monitors, as well as the screen real estate that's available for each monitor um, when you have, say, a browser or, or something that's about the same size. So, for example, a browser opened at 1080p, how does that look like on a 4K screen and on a, two, uh, on a 2K screen? So the first thing you might want to notice is the actual menu bar at the bottom of the screen. So on the 27-inch 2K monitor, you'll see that that is the native resolution of the 2K monitor and also the native resolution of the 4K LG monitor and you'll notice that the menu bar size is uh, much smaller about pro probably about 20 percent smaller on the 4K so I will also go a little bit more in depth and show you a zoomed in version um, not using display scaling but simply zooming in using my camera and you, you can be the judge of whether you can actually see the fonts and also the um, icon sizes on a 4K versus on a 2K and also versus on a laptop. So what I'm showing here is the relative screen real estate of the 2K, 4K and the 1080p monitors here. So you'll see here that I have a 1920 by 1080 browser open. Uh, the menu actually the menu bar at the bottom actually takes up about 150 pixels here and you'll notice that I have the same 1920 by 1080 browser here opened and you'll see that there's some extra space because it's not covered up by the uh, menu bar there so that's what I'm showing here that it's not covered up by the menu bar but you'll see that the 4k can actually fit four 10, 8, uh, 1920 by 1080 browsers and you can see that the 2K is not quite uh, two times the size it's actually 75% uh, so the difference between the 2K and the 4K is actually pretty huge you'll see here that the browser window I have opened here is 1920 by 1080 which is the same size on all of the three screens here and on the 2K it takes up 75% of the screen whereas on the 4K it only takes up 25% of the screen and obviously on the laptop it actually takes up uh, all of the screen so um, you know that is the comparison here of the screen real estate and so you, you get a sense of how much more information you could fit per screen so if you're just watching movies, it's not going to be a difference between uh, what size monitor you have. So obviously, the bigger size monitor you have, the better uh, for um, you know just watching multimedia stuff like a game playing or movies. So what you see here is um, you know a trailer, and you can see how it it just looks great on on the bigger screen. So let me go ahead and show you uh, all three of them showing video. So all three monitors here is going to show the same exact video and um, the screen just looks great obviously the the bigger screen the better so the colors and everything are when, when there is actual motion or action they all look uh, very spectacular so it really depends on the actual size of the fonts so when you're using a monitor you know when when you're actually browsing can you read the articles off of it will the smallest font you have will it be legible on the 4k monitor as it is on the 2k or on the laptop so let me go ahead and um, just try to give you a sense of what that looks like so I have the same text file opened up on all three screens and what I want to show you is how many lines of text fits on each one of them in their native resolution so let me go ahead and uh, zoom in and give you a sense of just how much smaller the fonts are but also how many uh, lines of text actually fits on each of the three resolutions. So in addition to the number of lines you want to see fitting into each screen, you also want to look at the width of the lines. So for the laptop, I could fit 51 lines, 52 lines, and you could see there um, just to also try to get a sense of the relative size. So I'm trying to stay at a constant 
distance from the screen so you could see uh, the empty space that's all on the right now I'm gonna zoom in here and you can see for the 4k monitor I could fit 115 lines of text and obviously all of these lines fit in one screen so you could see all the empty space there on the right and there is the 52nd line so you can see it's all the way up in the middle obviously um, but you'll notice that the text itself is about 20 percent smaller than the laptop so you might struggle a little bit to see it I, I would say this is that a 32 inch monitor for a 4k resolution is the minimal monitor size you should get you probably should get a 34 inch if you can now here's the 2k you can see for the 2K, it's not as dramatic. The 2K can fit 72 lines. And keep in mind, um, it's about 25% bigger than a 1080p. So that's the 2K. And just to get a sense of the font size. So once again, I am trying to stay a constant distance away to, to give you a relative look at just how much smaller the 4K lettering is. And so you can see the 2K here and quickly that of the 4K. Now if if you're pro probably if if you're under 40 your your eyes are not blurry yet in in that sense you you probably can in in that you don't need reading glasses so you probably can see the 2k fine in its native resolution for the text size and you know just going back to the laptop 1080p full HD for comparison now for some people the font size and the icon size will be a little bit too small so they're going to be using display scaling to zoom the fonts and the icons. So you'll notice how small the icons are right now on the menu. So what I'm going to do is um, also show you the fonts. So you can see the fonts are also very small on this 4K monitor. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate display scaling. So I'm just going to right click on the screen and I'm going to select display settings and when the dialog box comes up for display settings I'm actually going to choose my monitor so my 2k mo my 4k monitor here is actually monitor number two so I'm actually going to click and choose my monitor number two so that's the blue monitor that's highlighted now and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch between the 100 120 and the recommended 150 and then I'm actually going to zoom out and also show you the icons and menu. So um, first I'm just going to show you the 100, 125, and the 150. And then I'm going to pan out and show you all three of those and back to the 100. So you could see the relative sizes of each one of them after the display adjustments so here's the display scaling or font scaling so that's the 150 and you could see just by how big the dialog box is and how much bigger the icons are now on the menu option and I went back to the 100 here so I'm gonna flip back and forth one more time so just so you could get a better look here of the display scaling so there's the 125 and the recommended here which is the 150 and you can see how much bigger the menu icons are the menu bar at the bottom of the monitor and now I'm gonna flip back to the native resolution which is the 100 and you could see also just how much smaller the menu bar became so let me just um, give you a sense here of the menu bar and that's
that's the 125. And doing it one more time for the 150, which is the recommended setting for the display scaling. And then back to the 100. Now this kind of defeats the purpose, a little bit of getting the 4K native resolution. Because you really do want to fit a maximum amount of items in the native resolution. So my last demo here is I want to show you the difference between the size of the fonts when I go from the display scaling of 100 to 125 to 150 and then back to 100. So you could see the difference in the font size. But as I mentioned, it sort of defeats the purpose of getting a 4K monitor if you're going to use display scaling. So you might want to opt for a 34 inch monitor instead of a 32 inch monitor or if you really don't use reading glasses and a, a 32 inch monitor might just be enough for a 4K. Uh, but that's really it. I hope this helps and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.